First piece of radio advice I ever got, Jeremy Maggs, who said, don't mess it up. Best advice ever, and I've been distilling that same advice to young radio people for a generation. And I keep saying to them, don't mess it up. He was my first boss, and I revere the man. Um, and don't mess it up, it's a mantra. The Upside of Down is all about trying to look through crisis and trying to look through the short term and figuring out what South Africa's long-term prospects are based on where we've come from. If you look at South Africa's history, 350 years of dispossession, of dominance of one race over another, and South Africa's economy, despite all of the politics, despite all of the noise, despite all of the chaos and all of the unfairness in the system that has been in place for 350 years, we shot the lights out. Best performing stock market market over the last hundred years. Which one? Absolutely right, the JSE. In dollar terms, the JSE has outperformed the Australian market, the US market, and that is a fact that I will share with you in the Upside of Down. I used to have a very rigid pre-show mantra. It involved drinking a can of Red Bull, but that made me speak even faster than I normally do. So my pre-show mantra now is usually a sense of abject panic as to whether or not we've missed anything. And the last five minutes of the show is scouring the world to make sure that we've missed nothing because on The Money Show, we don't want to miss a thing. There are lots of really good people to follow on Twitter. The people like Paul Teron at Vest Act, who's very good. Quite um, people like Richard Quest, he's inc incredibly good to follow, uh, if you like aeroplanes and hotel rooms and things like that. Um, I found Lesetja Hanyaho, the Reserve Bank Governor, the other day, but I find real people far more interesting to follow than people with official titles and things. They seem to be a lot more honest. Um, so yeah, nobody wildly exciting recently. If you've got any bright ideas, please share. So my favorite feature on The Money Show, to dodge the question, um, is the Make Money Monday special edition. We do that on a Monday night, and it's all about real people, famous household names, but their attitude towards money and what shaped their attitude towards money. I was stopped by an electrician at a car park the other day who said, Bruce Whitfield, I love Make Money Mondays. It's the best feature on the radio. And that was really uh, uh, an affirming factor. I mean, here's a guy who ordinarily wouldn't listen to a stock market report, but is interested in real people, famous people, and what shaped their ideas about money. So we know that Warren Ingram on a Thursday night will tell you what to do with your money, but why does he think the way he does about money? So we interrogated him. John Carney, the actor, um, why is he at 70 so obsessed with working? And that's because he had relatively modest income parents and he's frightened of running out of money. Gido Novik, the guy who founded Kaluda.com. Money is so emotional, and especially when it's your own money. Uh, if you borrowed it from the bank, you don't care as much until they start knocking on the door. Uh, when we get let down by guests, that annoys me. Asking uh, somebody who's lived a long time if they've got soul food, one favorite dish, is like asking the father of the Brady Bunch or asking Darth Vader who his favorite child is. You can't do that. There is no favorite. It's all good. It's all good. I like to think I'm a good listener around the bride. I may share an opinion or two from time to time. I may butt into a conversation from time to time. I may like an audience from time to time. I hope I listen enough. <laughs> There's so many great holiday options, and when you've got small kids, you're kind of restricted. I'd love to whisk my wife away to New York for five days, but then somebody else would have to tolerate our kids, and that's, you know, that's a big ask. Um, Southern Cape, I think, needs proper exploring with small kids, so into the forests of Neisner, into the Kango Caves, to see if you can still fit down the chimney. Um, places like that are awesome. Botswana's got to be done. Um, Cozy Bay. Oh man, I mean, there's just, there's so many awesome spots to do. The Drakensberg needs to be done with kids as well. Maybe when they're a bit bigger, take a week and do Kruger Park. So that, again, it's like trying to choose favorite food. We have so many options and so many awesome places to go. 
that it's got to be local, it's got to happen in small bursts, and it's got to be memorable because holidays are not about taking a break or resting or recuperating from the rigors of life, it's about experiences and having shared experiences as families, getting together with mates, having those sorts of holidays so that your kids, when they are your age, if they remember that far back, um, also have great memories, awesome memories. So holidays and bucket list moments are about creating memories. Thank you.